Welcome back to Super Mario Star Road. Today, we are going to be doing some coin collecting in bob Islands with the 8 red coins and the 100 coins. Now, this is, this is very easy considering that it's only the first world, but uh, it's going to get much tougher later on. In fact, if, in fact, some of the, the coin collecting stars are pretty much the hardest in the game. Now you can still run around those wooden posts, and after a few laps, you get five coins out of them. Remember that uh, once you pound them into the ground, you screw yourself out of out of getting them. Unless you play the DS version of uh, Mario 64, of course, where you can just pound them, and the coins will pop up anyway. So, yeah! Uh, as I said before, coin collecting in this world, very easy. In other worlds, not so much. In fact, I would even go as far as to say that um, in some worlds, you do not want to stack the 8 red coins with the 100 coins, especially in Gloomy Garden. But we're gonna get the, we're gonna get to that when we actually do the coin collecting in Gloomy Garden. And uh, the reason for that is because in most of the second half of the game in Mario 64, all the red coins are stashed in a very limited area, so they are, for the, the most part, very easy stars. But in pretty much all of this game, the red coins are all over the place, which makes them incredibly painful to collect. So now we got a switch that will make some blue coins appear. So let's just ground pound on that and collect the blue coins. Oh, come on, don't do this to me now. Come on, get up. Okay, at least I got this one, but I think there was another one up there. So it's not a really big deal if you don't collect all the blue coins. And it's pretty much the case in every world because there's there's really no shortage of coin of coins. The, the the question is, will you survive long enough to get to 100? I don't think there's a single world that's as tight in terms of coins as Jolly Roger Bay and Dire Dire Docks were in the original. So at least if you miss one or two red or two blue coins, it's really not such a big deal. Uh, because we're up to 68 coins right now, and I just started uh, scaling the mountain area of uh, this world. So, let's just get up there. And uh, some of you in the comments in part one uh, commented on how they like the way this hack looked. And I gotta admit, it looks really convincing, as I said before, as a game that Nintendo would have made themselves and made you pay uh, 50 bucks for, except it's basically only a Mario 64 level pack, in a way, but still, it's a very well done, uh, hello, Bobomb buddy, but, um, yeah, very well done level pack, considering that it's the work of one person, using, of course, using the code of, uh, of an already existing game, but that doesn't take away anything from Skelex's merit. Now, take a look at this, you jump on that, and you break an invisible block containing a 1-up. Pretty cool. I, I know that because uh, there's a sign right next to the rock that tells you, you know, that this is there. I'm not even going to bother reading it because I just showed it to you. And besides, reading text in platformers, really... I, I'm really not a fan. Platformers should be for platforming. Leave, leave detailed stories for RPGs. And even there, I don't really play RPGs for the story either. So, as I was saying, yeah, this hack looks really, really amazing, and when Proton John says that uh, the ROM hacking scene changed a lot since he retired from LPing ROM hacks, well, you can look at that for total proof of that. We are now seeing complete Mario 64 ROM hacks. There's this one, there's 74. There are a few others as well. Not even gonna bring up Kaizo because it's basically uh, the same game as the original, just with a whole lot more fire and Chuckyas everywhere. But enough about that, we're getting pretty close to 100 coins here. Okay, there's a box here, so... Camera! Thank you very much. So, yeah, 10 coins in this box, so this means... Just get up there, grab the star, and of course... 
as in Vanilla Mario 64, we will be allowed to continue and grab the remaining red coins. There is one that's hidden right, rather well right there. And the other two, well, we can see them from here, sort of. There is one on this mast right here. I'm going to try and get it. Here we go. So that is seven, and the last one is at the very front of the ship. Let's head over there and grab it, and after that, we are going to be done with coin collecting in Babomb Island. So we're going to be um, one fifteenth of the way there in terms of, you know, grabbing red coins and 100, and 100 coins, even though there are a few more areas where there are eight red coins to grab, such as, for example, the, the cap courses, uh, the Bowser levels, though, they don't have uh, H red coins anymore. They're, they just have stars that are in the middle of the place. But uh, enough about that for now. Let's just head back up the mountain and grab star number eight. Speaking of stars, a very good question someone asked me in part one is how many courses there are, considering there are more stars in this one than in Mario 64. The answer is still 15. The extra stars are all secret stars. Well, there's a twist to that, but we're gonna get, but I, I, but we're gonna get there at one point. I'm gonna explain everything when we get there. So, we now have eight stars, which means that we now have unlocked access to Chukya Harbor and Gloomy Garden. Now, we're going to head over to these two worlds, not to collect any stars, but to unlock the first two uh, caps we can unlock. Uh, the, the metal cap can be found... Uh, well, the metal cap level can be found inside Chukya Harbor, so that's where we're going to be going right now. Uh, in Mario 64, only the metal cap level was located inside another level, but in this one, all three cap levels are uh, have received that treatment. Um, the vanished cap level is inside Gloomy Garden, as you may have figured out, and uh, the wing cap course is inside Cloud Rail Station, which is much, much later in the game. Also, awesome music! in this level. Absolutely love it. It's uh, the ice level theme from Donkey Kong Country 2. And, oh, come on. I, I, I didn't want to bounce back into the water and have to redo this all over again. So, yeah, what you want to do, you want to head up there in order to find uh, the metal cap course. You want to press this switch here. Prepare the camera in advance as much as possible. Go down there, under, and there are going to be uh, there's going to be a box staircase here. Double jump, kick, and get in there. This can get a bit annoying though, because sometimes you're just not going to have quite enough time to get back in, especially if uh, you don't get into uh, that alcove uh, with that double jump kick. But anyway. Uh, as I said before, there are some red coins to collect in there. Don't worry, there aren't any in the slide, so we won't have to do any sliding up the hill shenanigans. Anyway, the, me the metal cap switch is right in the middle of the place. Thank God we don't have to do any kind of crazy platforming for that. So, uh, of course, uh, the disappearing music glitch kicks in again because... Um, well, I don't really know what causes it from a programming standpoint, but, um, whatever, it's, um, it's a bit annoying, but it doesn't really change much, uh, in terms of the gameplay. So, number five is right over there. Now, number six, I like the way, uh, I like the way you get this one. You have to grab the metal cap, then you have to go in the lava, and it's behind this structure right here. Come on, grab the coin, thank you very much. It's something that was totally unused in uh, the regular Mario 64, how the metal cap makes you uh, invincible to lava. There is something that's going to be really, really cool later on in the game in regards to that. But once again, I don't really want to spoil the surprise. Uh, as for the music that plays when you have the metal cap, not the one playing right now, but the one that uh, plays when you have the metal cap, okay, this last one is right up here, so I need a perfect triple jump. Yes! This one was perfect. 
Once again, some of these triple jumps that you're forced to make, you really need to perfectly land that second jump at the very tip of the platform in order to get there. Anyway, as I was trying to say, uh, I the the music that plays when you have the metal cap, it I I feel like I know it, but I don't know where it's from. No, no, no. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go back to Chucky Harbor. It looked like I was going to go back there for a second because I sort of had a brain fart. But anyway, let's head into Gloomy Garden to unlock the Vanish Cap. So once again, we're not going to be collecting any stars in Gloomy Garden itself. Um, you know what? Screw this boo. I don't. I don't really feel like killing it anyway. So just a, just as long as I get to uh, to the vanish cap level, I couldn't care less how many enemies live. Of course, we're gonna have to kill them all anyway when we get to the 100 coins. But that's still a ways off, considering that this is World Five. Also, um. The music from Ghostly Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy is playing here. This is the first of many, many, many songs from Super Mario Galaxy. There are a lot of these in this act, trust me. So, this is here an El Israel 2401 gravestone. So, yeah, apparently Luigi's dead and we're going to and we're going to rob his grave. Now, right here, there's a boo that's actually a friendly boo, if you can just talk to him. Follow the light. This basically has two meanings. The first one, and the more obvious one, is that you can follow the light to get to this star, but you can also follow this sort of light arrow of sorts here, and walk around right here, and surprise! The Vanish Cap course is right here. Of course, it's hidden really well if you don't know where it is, but um, that, it, that, that, that wasn't the case for me, since this is not a blind playthrough. Oh, by the way, this is the Wing Cap theme, not the Vanish Cap theme. Not sure why it... Whoa! I almost died there! Almost got death number one. But yeah, when you first enter this level, it's the Wing Cap theme that plays for some reason. Maybe because uh, the Wing Cap and Vanish Cap themes are the same in the original, and there's some sort of programming quirk I'm not aware of. Anyway, we just stepped on the Vanish Cap switch, so all blue blocks in the game will now become solid. So we're going to be able to use the Vanish Cap from this point on. So, as you can see, uh, we're going to have to get up there to get the Vanish Cap because we're going to need it in order to get the star that's in this level. So, let's just go and just make sure not to die. There we go. So, now you want to go through this fence. And uh, I'm just going to kill these enemies real quick so that they don't uh, cause any problems for me down the road. Down go those Goombas. There's the third one. Now, this switch makes a few spotlights appear throughout the level. Beneath these spotlights, um, they're supposed to be... There we go, it's supposed to jump. Uh, beneath the spotlights, there are some hidden secrets that... Uh, you must collect, of course, you must find all five of them. Also, these floors that have arrows on them, they're friction floors. They're like, well, they're, they're basically floors with ice physics. So basically, stay off of them as much as humanly possible, especially when there are endless pits nearby. So, yeah, the, I think basically from a programming standpoint, this is just reskinned ice. Told you there would be a lot of reskins here. But anyway, secret number four is here. Now, number five is a bit more out of the way, because what you have to do, you have to step on this switch, then grab the vanish cap, then run like hell. Find the last spotlight, jump here, make the star appear, then try to head back before the, the, the Vanish Cap runs out, just so that you don't have to grab the one on the cog again, risking death doing so. But anyway, let's just grab star number 10 and get out of here. So now that we've unlocked the Vanish and Metal Caps, next time on Super Mario Star Road, we're going to finish off Bob-omb Islands, then head to the next world.